Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm eager to get back down to it. We've been getting our first sustained losses. Like losing once per episode minimum. We're playing as the thief is episode four, uh, oh. AKA at least so far, that's just hard mode. Let me settle in. It could be a long video. You get your feet. Oh, that didn't, that didn't sound great. Get your feet on the footrest ergonomically set up. Oh, feel good. Let's do it. I'm ready. So the first few floors, you roll the dice, you put the dice in the equipment, you win. It's only after that things start to get tricky. What are we trying to do? Honestly. Requires even. If you're gonna gain thorns anyway, No, we should do it like this. Yeah. And it doesn't really matter. Dagger, you just put the value in if it doesn't get any uh, any gains from trade, if you know what I mean. So we'd like to hit you for three. That would be ideal. <laughs> Works for me. I'm trying to think of where we went wrong last time, because I really, sure. I really thought the last one was going okay until it wasn't. You know, we basically, it, it fell apart at the worst possible moment. On an even, do seven damage. Sure, that's pretty good. And then how about one of these? Hey, where where can I get that? <laughs> Where'd you get that card, dude? I would like to have all of my twos become seven damage if possible, at least once per turn. I don't know if it's gonna be possible, but... You know, while we're in kind of like the same sort of area here as we often end up being in, you know, we, this is... We don't have to think too hard for this section, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Oh, dude, I would love to see a 2-4 here. It's beautiful. Um, even if we can't do anything with our four, I'm still pretty stoked, honestly. Uh, let me say thank you for the enduring support on Dicey Dungeons, even as I, uh, me personally, I end up getting my butt kicked now and then. I appreciate it either way. Odd. Dodge next attack. You love to see it. We should put the five in there. Well, it doesn't really matter. Um, he does have two dice. And he didn't roll the same thing. He might put one into Hall of Mirrors. Next turn's gonna suck. Like, I think the next turn is, is gonna suck, like, really bad. Please don't kill me. Two of the same dice. Thank you. So he's dodging and he's getting plus one dice. All we need to do is hit him for four after screwing something else up. Five, one? How dare you. How dare you. Whatever, we'll dodge the next attack. Two of the same dice. Dodged. Five poison, that sucks. Dodge. More dice. So over time, this guy would absolutely destroy us. Because this is a merciful game, it did not destroy us, and I really appreciate that, to be honest. Now we can start to think about with three money, maybe getting a little bit of equipment. Counterfeit, pea shooter bump. You know, I just... Counterfeit... The way I look at this right now is that it... Um, Takes up space in our inventory to give us an extra die, which I think early on is extremely good. Speaking of extremely good, what an absolutely horrible roll from you. Um, we might as well, I think, use our limit break and try to kill him as quickly as possible. So we'll definitely go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we kill him in two turns? It's unlikely, but. When we kill him, we will get full HP. He's not gonna roll an 11 on one dice, so I'm not too concerned here. 5-1 is, is it's not a great get. Yo, I forgot this is reusable. Anyway, um, we will just hit you for very little, unfortunately. 5, can't help but notice, still not a... Uh, Still not an even number. Even. Steals two gold. You think it'll even work? 
I don't think it worked. <laughs> um, in spite of it not working, this is a cool idea. Stop. Oh no, it did work, didn't it? Because we, we bought counterfeit. Okay, so please don't roll a six. I think we got you. We don't even need to worry about you rolling a six. I think I should have been splitting ones for a while. I don't know why I was split. I guess we did roll high a lot, so. What do we get? Poison needle or crowbar? I think we still want pro uh, poison needle. I don't know if it's any good at all, but. Healing crystal? Is it reusable? It's not reusable. So I think we're kind of okay with what we got so far. But I, definitely, we need more damage. The other thing is... Let's split our five. Four, one is fine. We can at least use our five here. If we're gonna... Yeah, I think this makes sense, believe it or not. If we're gonna take a simple heuristic for how to win the game, and I don't even know if that makes any sense at all, but to defeat an enemy, if we probably want to do poison early, damage late. I like it. Sort of. I think we actually, like, ah, it didn't really matter which we duplicated there. But I think poison early... Let's us get like all that cumulative damage in there. That's gonna make it easier to lethal them later. The the thing with poison, I hate that you got a. Uh, oh no, you didn't get odd even. You got even even. It's hard to see. I'm definitely gonna use this. It's hard to see. However, um, I just wanna make sure I can hit you for five damage. Four one will do it. So that's not a problem. Um. And now we, I actually look at this and I'm like, dude, we got an engine. Look at that. We just healed as well. Um, anyway, poison builds turn to turn. Which, you know, I know that sounds obvious. But it seems it's harder to, in your brain, I think, figure out what's better. Three damage or two poison. So t two poison is only three damage, so it seemed like maybe the damage is good because you collect it all at once. However, you do also gain the ability to start with one poison counter next turn that might make every subsequent poison that much more valuable. You get the idea. I don't think we want any of these. I feel like I'm undervaluing bump, but we already have decent dice manipulation. I My reasoning might be flawed, but at least I'm explaining it. <laughs> do we want to combine four, three? I don't think so. I think we want to split a four. We get a three one. It's bizarre, but I think you dupe the one. And then you go like, yeah, yeah. And my whole thinking here is that I've just undervalued poison so much. Even if we only take two turns to get poison. I see why you would do that now. If we only get two turns in which to set up the poison properly, I still think it's worth it. Um, similarly, we're gonna try this. 2-3 is good. I think we'll dupe the 2. Doesn't really matter, I think. And then you go 2, 2, 1. I'd rather do 6 damage than uh, 4 damage. Seems sensible to me. Okay, he will combine, so we'll get 1 shock. I don't like the damage, obviously, but it is what it is. And we're not going to level up, so let's use our lucky roll. Split the four, three, one. I think you want to dupe the three, you go for broke. We have nine damage. He needs to get hit for 14. Nine plus six. We can do that and heal for one. And the heal, I think, is gonna be is gonna be kind of a linchpin here. Not this one heal specifically, but just recouping as much HP as possible, whenever possible, is going to be very advantageous for us, I think. We, we haven't put a lot of stock in healing as the, as the thief that much. So we definitely want upgrades. Um, dagger is still really good. It only hard counters uh, poison, but I will admit it being able to take four is pretty good. Counterfeit lockpick is irrelevant here. 
Five uses of Poison Needle is kind of interesting. I'm gonna try that just because we've done uh, so much of upgrading Dagger to begin with. I don't know if Lantern's worth anything. So I think we should definitely heal once. Let's fight the level two first. Then we'll level up. Okay. Cannon, we'd love a good split. I mean, a five works fine. We could dupe a, a two. And then let's... This is really, like, a pretty good indication of whether or not our poison build is going to work for us. Is how we do against this guy. On a six, you can reuse it. Who cares? So let's split our three first. I'm still gonna dupe the one. I'm gonna hit him. I don't think he can kill me. And we're gonna heal the full anyway. So to have a full limit break, which we might have had anyway. Um, it, it seems valuable, though. So what do you do? We, have to, we only have to hit him for two. Um, it doesn't really matter what you do here, honestly. He dies. We get full HP. We have a limit break. Okay. The run... I'm very tentative about this. But we have reusable equipment. Normally, I get a little cocky at this part. I go, oh, it's so easy. Oh, I don't think anything could possibly stop us. But uh, here, I'm like, you know, I think there's a big positive with this poison. There are a lot of enemies who are really strong against poison, but 4-1, 2-3, it's still good. Um, in fact, it's, it's actually very good, I think. I think we'll dupe the 2, just so we have another 2 to go here. Unlucky roll is a great opportunity to get... We should prioritize using our 1s first here, but then we'll definitely use a 2. You got 5 poison on you, which is um, 15 damage total, but I don't think you're going to live long enough for that to make a difference. It's a really strong turn. One thing I haven't touched upon, because I haven't teased it apart arithmetically in my head to begin with. Good lord. Good rolls. Um... He even rolled the best dice on the non-burned dice, which was hilarious, but... Um, one thing I haven't teased apart is how much better it is to put a 2 into Poison versus Dagger, or vice versa, because it could be better in Dagger. And I think it changes over time, weirdly enough. Um, I think we should just put a 4 in here. I'd love to kill him this turn. So he said we need to do 12 damage. really good um so this is where you'd probably commit to some raw damage probably should have duped the three to be fair he needs to take five damage two damage so at least we paid in hp we we got a refund for the amount that we spent to do the damage to lethal if that makes sense we didn't lose any more hp than was necessary i think we have eight gold as well which is really good Add four poison. I actually think this this totally works. And uh but what do you take out? <laughs> I think you might wait until you can uh because what's the other one in here? I mean, another lockpick would be interesting. We just don't have the space. I think you might wait to put that in until you get the upgrade for counterfeit. Assuming you can get an upgrade for counterfeit. One of these seems poisoned. Um, so we definitely want shock. You certainly, A 5 does nothing for you right now. Same with a 4. Well, a 5 heals you for once. You might as well shock with a 4. Let's dupe the... Doesn't matter, but let's dupe the 3. 5 for healing. And then we're just going to try to stack up poison. These are two or less. That's the threes are still good for this. So I do wish I duped the one instead, though. Six, five, huh? Brother, I hate the sorceress. This is also a horrible roll for us. Um, so we'll use a six 
to break up lockpick, because a six doesn't mean anything for us. Five is at least we can use for bandage. Um, I think you split a one just for maximum poison. Okay, so that's that feels pretty good. You got six poison. Certainly this goes here. Six poison is 13 damage. No, sorry, 11 damage over the next two turns. We'd have to hit you for eight next turn. We'd have to hit you for five next turn. I'm gonna gamble on the extra HP. Hoping you roll kind of badly, which is really up to Cauldron. Yikes. <laughs> Anyway, we only have to do five damage, but it still is a little comical. So we already have the five damage, so yes, 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 um, yes. Use the six to split the two into two ones and go yes, yes, then hit check. Didn't get a whole lot of healing, but I'm feeling slightly better. I think that ended up, that might keep us alive post this fight. There is a Rotten Apple, not unexpected. We got another lockpick for free, which is very nice. And then will you let me upgrade here early on? You will not. You want lockpick for rat. It's a deal. Um, because we already have another lockpick. Now I know we need the space for this, don't get me wrong. The thing is, we don't need bandage on our final fight. I'd rather fight the Rotten Apple when I'm at the lowest HP possible, because he takes a percentage of your HP. That's my thinking there. Um, you're weak to fire, so I definitely want to burn you. Um, I think we'll split first. We got 3-3. Three, three. We'll dupe a 3. We'll still do it that way. I, I don't know. That seems bad in hindsight. I think I'd rather heal for one than inflict one poison. I don't know. Depends what you roll. One poison kind of sucks. Five, four, five, four, huh? It's going to be one of those days, apparently. Well, wow. okay. Split the one, I think, in this case. What do you want to do? Just dupe a one. I think you definitely want five poison. That much is like non-negotiable. Then you choose. Um, and I think you certainly would not mind healing up a little bit. And then, you know. You could probably kill me. So, I think we'll just leave it at that. You're gonna kill me. Again, um, do I feel like maybe I messed up? Yeah, um, I certainly don't feel like I played a perfect game. I had a lot of equipment in my backpack that we couldn't do anything with. But it's, it's either that or a lot of money in our coin purse we couldn't do anything with, because I'm not sure if you noticed, we never had the opportunity to buy HP in the first place. I also still feel like the enemies, on, on every thief loss, not on every loss, but on every thief loss, the enemies have been rolling just absolutely beautifully. And I'm starting to get just the slightest bit salty. I recognize the idiocy of, hey, I'm playing a game revolving around rolling dice, and oh no, my, the dice didn't work out in my favor. But I'm also like, yeah, but like... They like really haven't been working out in my favor recently. You can cry, you can put it in the a Pearson's T-Test and figure out whether or not, statistically speaking, I'm actually getting screwed. All I'm gonna tell you is that for now, I feel a little screwed. And like, hard mode is one thing, but, you know, literally impossible mode. Like, we almost died against the first enemy due to roll. That's, that's more frustrating. I'm just being honest, okay? Well, definitely want this. You only have one attack. We might as well put something in. Well, let's split this first. 
Okay, we'll still put this in. We'll hit you for four. Get three thorns. I mean, he could literally kill me. All he has to do is roll a... Like a six. If he couldn't hit me on four, we would have killed each other. <laughs> I guess he couldn't hit me at all then, because we got him low enough. But we only barely got him low enough, like... I forgot we had one damage reduction as well. <sighs> it's just, uh, you know, it's been... It's been a little demoralizing. Not because of the losses, but because of the way in which the losses have been happening. Honestly. Um... So I think you definitely want to use leather armor, because that's like... If this guy rolls a six, this will mitigate six damage for one, which is really good. He rolled a one. Um, still took two damage off. Could be worse. Let's see how this goes. It's gonna hurt. That's how it's gonna go. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> it's the perfect guy to use leather armor against, though. So, I mean, a six here is just is unbelievably good. Then you go, yeah. Are we gonna kill him? If we're not gonna kill him, I definitely want a lucky roll. And we're definitely going to kill him with Lucky Roll, albeit just barely. Okay. Keep morale high, keep a smile on your face, it's all you got in this mixed up world. Heal me, and, and heal me again. But then we do have to go through two combats here. Without getting a heal at all. And again, the blind, it just doesn't work from what I've been told. So there is a... Uh, a part of me that's like, that's a waste of my time. But what else you got? Dude, I would love a headbutt. Us having a blinded dice? Not that big of a deal, actually. Um, that was a four. Actually, it turned out pretty well. I think we, we might as well try to reduce a little damage if we think we can lethal you next turn anyway. That did save us two damage. Oh, you gotta love this. Not bad. We still have to beat the pirate. The pirate burns a lot. Oh no, we leveled up. That's our heal. Crowbar, the problem for me with crowbar is that it just doesn't do anything yet. So poison at least does something for now. Bump is mostly good on a six right now. But we, we disrespected it last time. Now it's here. So I think we want to split like a five. It became a four and a one. It's pretty much the worst possible opportunity. But at least we can bump it to reduce a little damage. I don't think our poison meta is what was hurting us. But I could definitely be wrong. <laughs> I, I could be just like super wrong. Um, I think you just split a one for sure. And then... Uh, so we definitely want to poison, because we're not going to kill you. We might as well go here. Um, you're going to be on 14, which is really like 11. You're going to be on 11, which is really 8, which is really 5, which is really... I'm going cross-eyed here. I think we do it like this. I think we just take the damage from the burn. Now, next turn, we only have to hit you for 4. Which is, is uh, very doable. Obviously. Um, yeah. Just like that. <laughs> I was trying to get a little bit too creative. Which, in this case, would have been a bad idea. Alright. Uh, we need five more experience. Counterfeat. Pea shooter. Here's the thing with pickpocket. I just don't think we need to steal gold. I don't think it does anything for us. Does counterfeit? Well, I don't know, like... We're getting dangerously close to having, like, the exact same run. But because... I, I still think counterfeit's great because we have reusable equipment. So, really, it's like an extra attack or activation of, a, of, of equipment per turn. So I, I do think it's... I think it's better than good. I think it's, like, very good. 
I think that's also why it's expensive, and that's also why it's large. And we'll upgrade it, I think, like, right after this. Maximum five, are you kidding me? Okay, start with the... Bump this. That's all right, we can put a five in there. Get the weaken. Split the six. Five, one. Get the one out of here. I can live with it. Oh, it's beautiful! <laughs> I've never uh, been so happy as to see the enemy roll the perfect roll. I mean, I guess, like, we might as well bump the, the four and make it a five. We might as well dupe the... Let's dupe the one, actually, so we can get three poison. Then we still get three damage anyway. You're definitely going to die next turn. We need to do four damage. You still only got to do four damage to me. We've gotten so unbelievably lucky as I've inched closer and closer to being outside of the frame. It's hard to... It's not comfortable to sit here. Like, you know, without seeing my desk, you can't see why. But there's a little, like, L shape here that makes it uh, not so nice. Staff is good against the right kind of enemy. Like the Yeti, for example. Actually, leather armor is awesome against this guy, so we probably should have put that back into the deck. Okay, split the six. Now I'm like, okay. I think... I think you do... Like... One, two... Three. Um... Then you put this over here. And then you put as much thorns on you as possible. So that if he hits you next turn, he's going to take 10 damage per hit. That's up to him. I wouldn't have recommended it personally, but, you know. I don't know how he lives his life. We should split the six, um, because a five can be used for thorns. Does this hurt me? It doesn't. That's beautiful. So again, the best offense is a good uh, is a good uh, defense in this case. Not even gonna hit you. I'm gonna let you hit me. We got four thorns. How do you want to do this? You only got one odd. You gonna hit me? It did hurt. I'm not gonna act like it didn't hurt. We don't have the ability to create thorns this time. So I think you just definitely dupe the three, and then. There we go. The least amount of damage possible, I think. I think. And we leveled up. And we get an extra dice. Upgrade counterfeit this time. Now, with that duplicated dice, you can put it into leather armor. Although, I will say immediately, I'm like, you know what? Let's just use staff on this guy because we know he's weak to fire and then we'll rotate it back. Not messing with this yet. I know. Yes, he's weak to fire. Okay. So, I think we want to maybe we don't have bump anymore. Let's dupe a four. Um. Actually, I love freezing his dice. In this case, because when we use leather armor, it will reduce the damage from a one roll to zero, which is really good. I think. You don't expect him to roll four odds naturally. And to also freeze all of my dice, I suppose. <laughs> but we don't dislike rolling once. You get one of these. You, you duplicate a one. We're not going to be able to freeze him, but that's okay. You reduce your damage here. We're not going to be able to burn him, I should say. All right. Roll many natural ones, please. He only gets to do two attacks. Never mind. He's upgrade. I forget that he's upgraded. He doesn't need odds anymore. We're still not taking as much damage as we otherwise would be, though. It's the same scenario right here. You do want to freeze a dice. He can hit you with anything now, so it doesn't have to be an odd. You want to see low rolls. That's very good. 
Two damage. One damage. Who cares? Who cares if we're frozen? So leather armor is doing wonders for us right now. Don't insult me, sir. I beat you. Fair and square, I might add. Bump works really nicely with staff, honestly. But, oh, my cats are looking at each other like they're they're gonna engage in combat. I'm gonna leave it like this for now. But only for now. Copycat. I mean, I think my equipment kind of sucks, so I don't mind. <laughs> Let's see if that proves to be right or wrong. So we stole one of his pieces of equipment, which in turn was one of our own pieces of equipment. Very interesting. 5-1 is good. So you're like a 5 on the odd, because you can't do anything else with it anyway. Um, might as well put the other 5 in here. I think you dupe a 1, and then you go, you know, you really want to poison him. They're good rolls, which means they're terrible rolls. Because the high rolls are bad for me. He does have upgraded dagger, but... What is... How is he getting so much value out of this? It's alright, we reduced incoming damage by 2, so he didn't even have, like feel like it's worth attacking there. Keep in mind, he also reduces incoming damage by 1 this turn. Okay, so we already have, we have an upgraded lockpick. Let's split a six into threes, even before we dupe it. And then, split a one into ones. Should have bumped the six first, that's, that's very fair. What do you do with a four? Basically not, well, no, absolutely nothing. Probably could have done that differently then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dupe the three first. Because the, the thing is, the ones don't do any damage to them, so you might as well bump a two. The other uh, ones, it's not even worth using because he has leather armor. Case in point. It's amazing. Uh, deck seems a lot better. Um, well, it's not really a deck, but you get what I mean. The equipment seems a lot better once it's all upgraded. So we got a doubled bump. I did not mean to double the four. That was, that was unintended. But we can still... Four, six, six, one. I don't know. Oh, that's right, I won't even take it. I don't feel great about it, let's put it that way. I feel like we definitely screwed that turn up. Two, four, six seems scary to me. No leather armor. Um, maybe perhaps a misstep on our previous turn. Stop. I think, honestly, if he put those into Dagger, he might have been able to get me, so I consider myself extremely lucky. He's already dead. Thank God he's not strong against poison. Um, so we need to heal. And that is that is gonna happen, thankfully. Dagger into Catastrophe. Honestly, deal. I feel like we're... I'm invoking Slay the Spire protocol. What's Slay the Spire protocol? If you think you're gonna die, you might as well try something else. This way, we also get the ability, for example, to like, okay, like, bump the six, then dupe the six, and then your sixes are not useless. Instead, your fours are useless. Although now, that's true, with no dagger, like... We don't have anything to do with our twos. You do have doubles. Three damage silenced, no effect. <laughs> okay, um, we'll do the same thing, like for now, it might seem wonky, but it's actually, like, it kind of worked. And then...
I think we just have to rethink where we place our cards. Play, place our dice, sorry. Because uh, now we can use twos for poison because they don't have a better use and save the ones for maybe a more important area. Two weakness is pretty bad. I would just like him to not roll doubles like one time. Is bad. I still, I, I believe in this. I don't really want to split a value into. Just keep the poison coming. We got rid of a six, which feels relevant. He could probably kill us next turn. This can only be used once. That's very bad. I think we still like this. He's gonna dodge it though. Smarter. Maybe he wouldn't have dodged it? I don't know. Whatever. This will be interesting. He did get doubles again. I'm like, are we at the limit break? Maybe. I think we have to spend two dice. To see if we're at the limit break, which we are. We'll dodge our next attack. Duplicate the one. Reduce one damage from all incoming attacks. Might as well toss these in here. If we get super lucky, maybe we can live. Oh my god, he can't hit us. Alright, so he's dodging an attack. It's a bit weird. He's dodging an attack. We need to hit him for four. <laughs> I'll tell you straight up, it cannot be done. Um, I'm alive. I lived. I don't know, man. I'm not super confident in this one. So we have a snowman. Hello, snowman. Um, leather armor is pretty good against snowman. Let's take bump and uh, and poison needle out of the equation and hit him exclusively with staff, I think. But actually, now that I think about it, if we're not going to use... What do we need lockpick for, then? Basically nothing. So we should rather have bump in that situation than lockpick. If we don't need specific dice to be split for multiple attacks. We need to do it this way because he's weak to fire. Now, we don't mind freezing the dice. That's actually very valuable for us. I think you don't mind duping a six either. And then you go six, six, because that's the most useful place for those. Then I'm like, this is stupid, because we got five, four, one. No, you can go five, four, two. Now, do you want to freeze one more dice? This guy does need odds. Okay, so I had Yeti and Snowman confused. We definitely want to reduce damage from attacks. He only rolled two odds. Still pretty bad. <laughs> still, still terrible. Um, that's your bump here. Hear me out. Three, three, three. 
One, one, and then prayers. Two odds, we're dead. Dude, the game got hard. My my puzzle solving skills, uh, they're all they're all out of whack. Either way. We'll try the robot next. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. In spite of my ineptitude, if you did click the like button, helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!